here. And we got Tito Team Boat Fishing, Love Boat in the back behind us. Whoop, whoop. So, <laughs> so I'm towing them to the fishing grounds that we're going to be going to. I am on the Old Town Predator PDL. And I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here if it'll flip the screen. Yep. Kayaks with one. Full of the gear, like there's a one shot deal, guys. We're gonna get out there, start fishing. Captain Eric Hernandez's alligator guard tournament. It is the fifth annual, right? Well, fourth, fourth, fourth and fifth annual. So I am getting it done. Yeah, buddy. We're cross crossing a big stretch of water over here. We've been pedaling for about four minutes now. So we're gonna see what's up. Hugo, yes sir. Thank you very much. Most definitely gonna put in some work. Let's see. All right. So I'm doing the best I can to, to look at the screen, but I'm also looking at these crosswaves right here where we're sitting in sideways. And they're they're, getting, they're gonna melt over there in the back. They're getting splashed by some waves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna come and eat your toesies off. <laughs> oh my god. God, all I hear is bakering in the back. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Hit that thumbs up. I am towing Kiki Corona from Team Heart Life and Boat Up Fishing, Sean Mendez. And we are kayaking to a car spot that we're going to be doing for this alligator guard tournament. Oh man, but since we... He smells you! Bring him to us! Yes. It's, so, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a good workout, that's for sure. Pulling some skiers, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Most definitely, man. It is beautiful out here, guys. Can't really show you where I'm going, but y'all can see these guys are having fun in the back. <laughs> Sean's hold, holding on for dear life. He ain't gonna be able to hold a fishing rod after he gets off this trip. <laughs> oh yeah, he doesn't he doesn't know how to swim, but as you can see, all of us are wearing our PDFs. So no matter what, we are being safe at the same time. And, and I told him to tie himself to the kayak and put a hook in his butt. So if he does fall off, I'll just tow him. <laughs> Use him as live bait. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. What was that? I didn't see the last comment, guys. What? Oh, oh you're panicking over there? Nah, I think you'd still try to dive after him is what you do. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they could have if we had extra paddles, but we didn't. And then also too, the amount of gear would have made it kind of impossible for them to actually paddle um, a regular kayak. If we would have did it long ways, we might have been able to do it, but we didn't do it. Yeah, they sure can doggy paddle to shore. <laughs> oh. All right, so we are four minutes in, so that makes us right at about eight minutes of paddling. So we're up to 17 people on right now. The what? <laughs> oh, man, we're going to have to do some mean tweets or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, most definitely a beautiful day on the water. Yep, yep, getting my workout today for sure. The good thing is we'll be here till tomorrow morning at 5 as the tournament begins. And we got the bait we need, got the gear we need, we just need to get to the spot. Any last wishes? <laughs> 
<laughs> Any last wishes? <laughs> there you go. Dressed or not dressed? See, I'm kind of jelly though. They're closest to the cooler. But the good thing is I have it strapped down. They can get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man we're definitely gonna have to get uh sean on the jet the kayak a lot more gotta teach him to swim we'll, we'll teach him how to swim for sure the what yeah but you still fall off a jet ski too man you gotta know how to swim that's what i said and i still flew off yeah that's how I lost my other pair of Costas. Yeah, but I, I flew like 10 feet. I was going about 75, and then I, I cut out of a wake and it dropped down further than I thought, so I hit a wall of water and I went flying. All right, let's see coming up on a bunch of trees I think I'm finding a path so I can cut in between them because they are like I'm towing a big boat in the back so if it was just me I could slip through some trees but I gotta make sure we can all get through ah. no yeah no I see it but I see an opening over here on the left I don't want to go longer that way you know what I mean I'm starting to make the cut to the left see that big opening right there Yep. Oh yeah. Let's see, where are we at? Seven minutes. Yeah, I did tell him about 15, 20 minutes. So we'll definitely get there. We'll call shore and say, land ho! <laughs> oh yeah. Now that I'm not going against the wind, I can actually pick up a little more speed, so. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. What? I'm not even talking to you. I was thinking about the, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you have to do the job song and be, we think, we think we need a bigger kayak. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, at least they don't, these guys don't get seasick because then they'd already be chumming it. Yep. I see it. So. Oh, ooh, a little water splashy up. The what? Yep. Well, this this is a man-made lake. It was not natural. Yeah. No. When they put it in a dam, that's what created it, or whatever, something like that. Oh man, we're up to 16. It looks like I got nine thumbs up, guys. We need to raise that up. We need to definitely get up there. Putting in the work for y'all guys. I was just gonna record it. I was like, you know what? This would be a good idea to go live. So, yeah, yeah. we got trees, trees, and more trees. So I'm, I wanted to see how long it would take me to get there. So whatever time I am live, just add three minutes to that. Well, well let's do four, just to be safe. Say four minutes to that, and that'll be the time that we are. How's everybody's weekend going? Anybody else fishing? I'm trying to cut through right there. Hey, backseat driver! Shh. <laughs> Got backseat driving over here, not even side seat, backseat. Even worse. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, somebody working. 
That's right, you did say you were gonna have to work this weekend. Oh man. Look, there's a black alligator gar right there. You see him? Right on the surface. You don't see him? Right there to your right. About 20 yards, 30 yards. Or is that a log? Yep. These little ones we can push over. It's those bigger ones that we can't. trying to make my way through this maze of trees like literally there's a lot of trees over here so cut through these batch we'd be clear running oh yeah it's uh I'm with Kiki Corona from Team Hard Life and Team Boat Up Fishing with Sean Mendez we are cutting across the lake to a secret spot. Secret, secret spot. And I'll give you an idea of what we're doing. Come on, turn around. I am pedaling. And I got both of them behind me on a kayak, towing both of them. So, yeah. And we are what? 12 minutes in, so right at about 15 minutes of paddling. We'll say 16 just to be safe. So, yep, yep, cutting through the thick of things. What'd he say? Oh, and then paddle back. <laughs> He's scared of the woods. He's scared of the woods. Yeah, now something like this I definitely would go through during the daylight so that we would make sure we get to ground pretty safe and stuff. So, But I bet you there's so much fish in this area just because of all the, uh, the structure. It's amazing. Boop, boop, boop. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling back there, guys? Better? Look, we're so close to land now. Oh, just don't throw up in the kayak. <laughs> sup, sup, guys? Mr. FTW. I know I saw Steve Owens in there. It's kind of hard to see the, uh, the lens because I got to hold it out of the shade or out of the glare of the sun, so... If I haven't called y'all out by name, guys, I'm sorry. I'm kind of the the uh, the names I could see. I mean, not the names, but y'all's comments because it's in white. So against the screen, I can see it real easily. So yep, yep. So we are going around the corner, right? Huh. Right there. Yeah, but it was around. It was over a little bit, wasn't it? Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. So we're up to 14. Let's see, 11 thumbs up. Putting in some work here, guys. I am kayaking. I've got these guys behind me right here. Enjoying the ride. Or semi enjoying the ride. <laughs> yep. Go kayak, go, go gar fishing, they said. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh this is easy bro I, I'd, I'd rather do this than go through all the mud and all the thorns and all of that stuff that was I mean I give it up for gar fishermen I mean, they really do put it out there you know they get some hard work done so Come on. We're about 500 yards away from our destination is what it's looking like now. And I've been kayaking for 15, 19 minutes. That was, that 
that was a tough one. Let's see. Oh, and earlier too, I uh, thought we might have to put a cankle on this because there was some serious storms that were developing, like lightning and all that. And definitely wasn't trying to be on the water at that time, but it has cleared up around us, giving us an open window to make it to where we gotta go. So beautiful. Well, you better swim after it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yep, yep, we're getting closer, guys. Getting closer. Land ho! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I hit a, I hit a big old tree or something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Yep. All right, guys. So we're about to get to shore, man. I will holler at y'all here in a bit, guys. Y'all have a good one. I need both hands now. So.